it's still on TV. I'm here with the amazing Josh Duffy. What are you working on right now? Uh, right now we're doing a little freehand uh, Day of the Dead skull, Azteca style. I'm from LA. What do you want? <laughs> I know I'm white. Do you think it's important for tattoo artists to understand art outside of tattooing? Yeah, I think that we're never going to progress uh, as tattoo artists if we don't uh, educate ourselves on the outside. We're, we're artists first and then we're tattoo artists second. Do you think that tattoo artists should attend seminars and classes, art classes as often as possible? Always. Always. Do you attend classes and seminars? Yes, I do. Or you're just so good you don't have to. You're kind of amazing. You're kind of amazing. I don't know. Let's get this straight. I suck <laughs> and I want to be good, so I will continue to grow and progress as much as I can and learn as much as I can. What has been the most important lesson that you've learned in the tattoo industry? Humbleness and uh, respect for uh, fellow artists and uh, everybody has a place and we're all doing the same thing and trying to make shit happen. Thank you, Josh Duffy. You're welcome. What do you think of the Hell City this weekend? It's a really nice show. I mean, it's a really well organized show, so I'm enjoying the show a lot. Do you think it's important for tattoo artists to have an artistic background outside of tattooing? I think it really helps. I mean, now that it's really, really important because I think the main thing is, you know, as an artist to be original and to have the, the passion for it. Because you can start without, you know, a background, you know, like me, and then. Um, if you have a lot of passion, then you you know put a lot of effort to get you know whatever you want. <laughs> what's the what's your favorite thing about being a tattoo artist? You know, being able to travel a lot, and I mean just just the fact that is that I'm doing you know what I like to do you know all the time drawing and something that has to do with with art and I don't know I mean now every aspect of it the fact you get to travel and meet you know new people you can you know talk to different clients every day and. I don't know, kind of like study different personalities and stuff, so... What's the favorite, your favorite place that you've been? Favorite place? I gotta say LA. I mean, from LA is kind of awesome. Yeah, I think it's one of the best places. So. Well, we love you. We think you're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing, interesting artists, Kelly Dotty, Timmy B, and Ron570. These two are working an awesome collaboration. How about you tell me about it, Timmy? Well, pretty much I got really lazy today and didn't want a tattoo, so Ron had this thing all ready to go, and he asked me if I'd want to jump on it with him, and I just said, yeah. So I had no part in the drawing or anything. I just kind of... You're a lazy artist. I'm a pain in the ass. What do you think of lazy artists? I hate them. Oh, right, me too. Me too. I, me too. Can't deal with it. Pushing their workload on someone else. Uh, I am everything. so, I'm notoriously prepared. Right? That, my favorite kind of artist is one that comes prepared and eager and motivated to work. Oh, right, Kelly? That's me. So. That's, what do you think, Ron, of lazy tattoo artists? I was prepared. I had to coach Timmy through the whole thing. Yeah. Let me ask you, Kelly. What's your favorite style of tattooing and why? <laughs> I like the kind that uses ink. This is really the best, right? Did I do it right? What's, what's your big stuff? You're, he likes black and gray. I don't believe him, though. Let me ask you this. What's been your biggest biggest lesson in the tattoo industry? Oh my god, that's even worse than the first question. Okay, what's your favorite? Okay, if you had a tattoo with one color, yeah. only, no, let's say two colors and one's like black, what other color would you choose? If you had a tattoo with only one color, what color would it be besides black? Purple. Purple? No, always purple. Um. Mike's cool dark gray. Gray and black? Because you like black and gray. Ooh. Color ever, I swear. Yeah. This cool and how about you? One color besides black, what would it be? I'm with Kelly, purple. Purple? Purple's a good color. What? We were just talking about that. Well, how about you tell me about this piece you're doing right now? The, honestly, this was probably one of the smoothest collabs I've ever done with anybody. You know, we both have two different styles. Two minds collab. And it just went super smooth through the whole It's beautiful. What do you think, Kelly? Oh, I think it's absolutely beautiful. I was gonna say, as long as you keep Timmy away from it, that thing's gonna look solid. Well, <laughs> thank you guys so much. I feel like you should go get to work, continue working. A pleasure meeting you again. Yes. Thank you guys. Break.
go. What are you working on? A little Day of the Dead piece with some abstract bubbles and I like doing bubbles. I like tattooing bubbles. I do have a girl named Bubbles. But That's my porn name. <laughs> That's my porn name, Bubbles. And Yum Yum. Yum Yum. I like the combination. What's the least favorite thing about being a tattoo artist? I don't know, like the people, you know, sometimes like it can get overwhelming. Or people get pissed off because you can't like tattoo them or get them in, you know, that's why the worst. Do you think that all these tattoo shows have made it to a point where people expect tattoos to be within 30 minutes to an hour and expect them to be something that they're not? That's the first, that's the first thing I tell them like what it is, you know, but uh, I think more of it is like, uh, I think they're getting smarter. They're not getting stupid shit no more. So tattoo shows are good? Yeah, man, I think it's whatever is putting us out there, it's good, you know? Thank you so much, Roman. A break go. So on TV, bruh. Yeah, I'm here with Jose Perez Jr. Can't forget the junior. How are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> what are you working on right now? I'm working on a crazy ass woman face with a shit ton of texture, a retired mom texture, actually. It looks amazing, and he said he wants to punch you in the face because yeah, you're does. making him hurt. He does. How does that make you feel to make people hurt in that kind of pain? It turns me on a little bit, but I mean, that's just a different story. <laughs> What's your favorite style of tattooing and why? Uh, realism, because I find it to be more challenging. Realism kind of pushes the limits to uh, make it look real, I guess. What's the most important lesson that you've learned in the tattoo industry? The most important lesson that I've learned would probably be, for me anyways, it'd be like uh, tattooing to me is more, it's an art, you, it's an art form. I mean, you apply your artwork there, but tattooing is more of an application than anything. It's not, you know, uh, it's a different medium, it's an application. If you can't apply it to the skin and make it heal properly, then I guess you just can't do it. So you think it's important for tattoo artists to attend art classes and... It definitely helps, but everybody needs to understand that tattooing is an application. You know, it's, it's a certain steps you should take to apply the tattoo and make sure it heals right. It's not, yes you do, like I said, you do do your artwork and you apply it to the skin, but it's more about the application of it on the skin, you know. Thank you, Jose Perez. Junior. Junior. <laughs> <laughs>
serious face. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Bernadette. Hi, I'm Bernadette with Salon TV. I'm here with Josh Tuffy. What are you working on right now? Your voice cracked. <laughs> We're doing all of that once, yeah? Gang bang going down. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, if it has to be. <laughs> I love how you guys are so willing to jump into that. <laughs> we were locked in the second you said yeah. You guys are like, oh, all right, shit, let's do this. Look at the look at Tell me, what's the best thing about being a tattoo artist? Um, all the girls. I knew you would say that. Hi, I'm looking at you. Sorry. You can look at me or you can look at him. What do you want to... <laughs> <laughs> okay. And if you want me to feel... Okay. 